What's up, guys? It's Liam. Uh, before I showed you this, uh, now I'm going to show you this. Uh, that is pretty cool. Michael Jordan. A little bit of the lens flare right there by J.J. Abrams. Of course, I don't have as good camera as him. That's my other poster as well of Michael Jordan. That's a picture of Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is not my favorite player. I'm kidding. He's one of my all-time favorites. Iron Man 3, Avengers, and The Dark Knight. I think it's Rises because it's snow, but who knows. Alright, anyway guys, it's Liam. And uh, I'm not going to I'm going to be casual right now. I'm just going to be laying down on my bed right now. And pretty much, uh, I'm going to be talking about the X-Men Days of Future Past trailer. It's a pretty good trailer. Um, it really it, it got me hyped for it, and now it's my most anticipated movie of 2014. Because of the trailer, it was always, it was one and two, between Fast and Furious 7, and <laughs> X-Men Days of Future Past. <clears throat> yeah, I'm comparing the Fast and Furious franchise to the X-Men franchise. They're probably even because of what happened in the middle there, from 2007 to 2009. Like, whatever happened there with, you know, X-Men, I don't want to know. Uh, so anyway guys, the trailer looked pretty sweet, and, um, it had... Pretty much, it's, I'm not gonna, I can't remember it bit by bit. I've watched it like ten times now. It's very good because, <clears throat> uh, it shows you the futuristic world, and mutants that you've seen before, and new ones that you haven't seen before. I can't name any of them, the new ones, and that's good. They didn't make it too obvious who they were to regular folk like myself. Um, there's stuff in the trailer, there's Old Man Logan, uh, he eventually does age. Never would have thought that. But in a hundred years, he's getting his first couple of gray hairs. That's pretty cool. And then that that ponders me a question, though. Like, why are they making such a big deal about him and his aging? Like, I guess it's a thing because they know that Hugh Jackman's starting to age a little bit. Like, he's not aging at all, but he is a little bit, like, here and there. Like, he's a little bit like Will Smith, except Will Smith's always going to be kind of the same look. But, you know, he's like... Skin looks the same, but he's getting a little bit more mature. So I guess that's a bit of an excuse. And then what, what was the whole point of the Wolverine then? Like, he's gonna die in 100 years anyway, so... I don't know. Um... But that's pretty cool. Xavier and Magneto come up to him and they're all like, uh... We need you to go back in time, go back to your 70s buddy, and you need to give it myself and Magneto, or Professor X I'm talking as, that, uh... You should do something, and they don't tell you what they, he has to do, like, you have to convince him that there's a war that's going to happen, and he has to stop it by doing something, and, uh, I've looked into it a little bit, it is an assassination by the Brotherhood, um, that they have to stop, and, uh, I, I don't know, maybe because he had an X-Men, but he's like, I don't care anymore kind of thing. Whatever's happening in the trailer. So he goes back, and pretty much the rest of the trailer is action scenes. Um, so for about a minute and 18 seconds, it's all story build up, and that's pretty much what I just told you. The rest is pretty cool action scenes, a lot of cool shots. Uh, the most interesting character that I would say about this trailer is probably Mystique. You're going to see her, the innocent girl from First Class. She. This is the part where she transforms into that, you know, that e that wicked person that we know in the X-Men trilogy. You know, I think this is going to be very cool. By the way, I think something that would have been actually uh, really good for uh, maybe X-Men, uh, uh, Wolverine Origins, whatever, that really terrible one. Um, I have a theory about that. They made a terrible Wolverine movie to outbunked the terrible X-Men movie, so, I think it would have been cool if there was a cameo by her in there, you know, her, all, you know, disguised, but, alright, continuing with the trailer, it seems like she's gonna be transforming in this, it seems like she's reluctant to do stuff, and Magneto's all pissed about it, by the way, I have a little bit of argument about Magneto, they've done him wrong, and, you know, there's nothing you can do about it now, but it seems like we're getting the real Magneto in this movie, and I mean by the modern day Magneto, or the futuristic Magneto, in the fact that, um, he's not a bad guy, he just, he's very opinionated, and he's very strong about what he believes, and, um, 
So, and that is that mutants should have power over humans. Um, and his argument, sometimes he does evil stuff. But he's not a, he's not a bad dude. In, in these movies, he's a bad dude for a long time. Now he's old, and now, now we're getting the real Magneto, kind of thing. But, what can I say? Um, the trailer looked really good. A lot of cool scenes, um, and that's, that's really what the trailer was. Get you hyped up for the movie. I mean, I'm definitely just, uh, get, get a seat with my name on it, because now I'm definitely going to see that when it comes out. It's like, it's kind of like... Iron Man 3 this year, there was no way I was going to miss that, um, so anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and, uh, if you like this video, um, press the like button, and comment, and subscribe, like I said in my last video, I usually get about 4 or 5 views, just subscribe, you know, why not, it's what that one guy is doing, and, it's Devin Harris, I think it is. Uh, thank you for responding to the videos. I do appreciate it, and um, hope you guys uh, ha have a good day. And I'm Liam, and I'm out.